hey hey friends welcome back it's your girl Janine with cook pray slay and i'm super super excited to be back guys yes i took a few weeks off but i am back and i'm ready to get started on a really delicious amazing recipe that i know you all are going to absolutely love it is my air fryer salmon nuggets um served with a side of my homemade spicy mayo sauce guys so this is going to be so awesome. I'm so excited to jump into it. But before we do, make sure if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you, you receive all of my future recipes and videos. As always, with all of my videos, I'll make sure to include the full recipe link down below in the description, guys. So let's get started. All right guys, so here are the, all of the ingredients you will need for the air fryer salmon nuggets. Um, so of course I have my salmon here, which I will cube up. I will show you guys how I season it and cube it up. Um, here I've already mixed in my fish fry and Italian style breadcrumbs. So I actually mixed the two together into this dish here. And this is where I will be dipping my salmon nuggets in before we stick them in the air fryer. And I will season my salmon um, very lightly, guys, because this fish fry has a lot of seasoning in it and a lot of salt. Um, so of course, for those of you who've been watching me know, I really try to keep my salt to a minimum. Um, so I will lightly season it with some salt and pepper and um, a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning and just a tad bit of Old Bay. Um, and then I will um, just dust it when it's all done. I will dust it with some parsley flakes. If you don't have parsley flakes, you can use Italian seasoning or whatever um, garnish that you would like to use. So let's start by slicing up our salmon. Here I have about a pound and a half of salmon that I'm cutting into um, nuggets. You can decide how small or large nuggets sizes you want. Um, just remember the larger they are, they may take a little bit longer to cook. So depending on the size of your nuggets, your cooking time may vary slightly. All right, so let's get started in seasoning the salmon. Here's a little bit of lemon pepper. Then we'll add a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Remember what I said earlier, you don't want to go overboard in seasoning the salmon because the fish fry has plenty of seasoning in it already. So let's go ahead and just mix up the seasoning so it's well incorporated. All right guys, so while you are dipping your salmon into the breadcrumbs and fish fry mixture, you want to make sure that you preheat your um, air fryer. And so normally I like to preheat my air fryer for about three minutes so it gets nice and warm. Um, and you will put your first batch into the air fryer. So I will show you what that looks like. All right guys, so before we put the first batch in, you wanna make sure that you slightly coat the air fryer with a little bit of cooking oil, doesn't matter what kind. And you're gonna go ahead and preheat it for at least three minutes. Go ahead and while my air fryer is preheating for three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and just start um, prepping my salmon. And we're going to dip your salmon cubes into the breadcrumb and fish fry mixture. You wanna get a good coat on it. So when you dip it in there, just kind of pat it, pat the uh, mixture into the salmon. Get a good coat on it, guys.
here's what the salmon nuggets look like after you dip them in the fish fry and breadcrumb mixture. All right guys, so my air fryer is nicely preheated, it's nice and hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my first batch of salmon into the air fryer. Okay, so our first batch of salmon nuggets are ready to go in the air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for six minutes. After the six minutes, we'll check on it, turn them over, and cook them for another six minutes. All right, stay with me guys. I'll show you what it looks like. So it is crisping up nicely. We're gonna go ahead and turn them. You can see they're getting nice and golden brown. And I'm gonna put them back in here. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a spray and we are gonna go ahead and we're going to cook it for another six to eight minutes. All right guys, look at this. These are nice and golden brown. Oops. Nice and golden brown, crispy. These are perfect. So here are the five ingredients to make my quick and simple, and of course delicious, homemade spicy mayo sauce. So I have about a cup of mayo, about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you can use lime juice, some black pepper, Sriracha sauce, if you don't have sriracha sauce, you can always use um, just regular hot sauce. And I always like to um, put a little bit of Creole seasoning um, in my spicy mayo um, sauce as well. So um, a good alternative to this, if you don't have Creole seasoning, you can use um, either chili powder or even taco seasoning would be great in that as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. Um, we're just gonna mix everything into a bowl. So this is my mayo here. My lemon juice. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of black pepper my sriracha sauce. And again, guys, I will go ahead and put um, all of the ingredients and the actual recipe inside of the description. I'm just kind of eyeing it because I've made this so many times, so. All right. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up. All right, so that's it guys. There you go, that's your homemade spicy mayo sauce. And that took no time, right? You know what's in it, 
you know it's much healthier than what the bottle stuff that you would get in the stores and it's just so delicious so i'm excited we are ready to just dig into those salmon nuggets so let's get this plated up all right guys so our salmon nuggets are nice and hot we've got our homemade spicy mayo I'm gonna go ahead and of course you all know how I do. I like to make things look pretty. So I'm going to just put a little bit of the uh, parsley flakes on here as garnish. Y'all, my mouth is watering. And I'm just gonna put some in the uh, spicy sauce as well. Check this out. And my kids are drooling right now because they love this. This is one of their favorite, favorite snacks to eat. All right guys, so our air fryer salmon nuggets are done with our homemade spicy mayo and I cannot wait to dig into this. So here's the moment of truth. You guys know I have to try it out, right? So I'm going to just go for it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So delicious. This is so good, guys. I'm not gonna double dip, although I really want to. That spicy mayo sauce is the bomb. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, guys. This is great. It's definitely a keeper. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give this a try. Let me know what you think. Comment down below and let me know if you plan on making this and if you did make it, how you loved it because I know you're gonna love this. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This was so much fun. Definitely make sure that you like, subscribe, Hit me up with a comment down below and make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you receive all of my future videos and recipes. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.